Hey everyone, Dutch Massacre here. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. Um, don't really have a good reason for it. Um, just got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of games to play. Of course, I still have this backlog that I need to, you know, try to get rid of. Uh, played a ton, a ton of Watch Dogs. Love that game. A ton of The Witcher 3. Um, yeah, a lot of games actually, but mostly those two. And well, something else has happened. Uh, I'm engaged now. Fuck yeah. Uh, I asked my girl to marry me um, in front of well, around 15 to 16,000 people. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of awesome. Um, I got to do it on stage uh, with our favorite band, Event Soundfall. So that was pretty fucking cool. And well, she said yes, so that's cool too. <laughs> um, I mean, we've been together for a little over eight years. Uh, we've been living together for almost five now. So it was about time we got married. Um, it's not gonna be for a while though but that doesn't matter um, I got this great opportunity uh, so I really want to thank the band and I really want to thank um, the security and the bodyguard of the band who helped me so much in doing this and I really appreciated it it's just amazing um, I have a small video which you can watch right now. All right. So we weren't gonna play this next song. We got a friend here tonight. Hey, come here, real quick. You wanna introduce yourself to the people? I am Nick. That's your girlfriend? What, what, come on, girlfriend, come on. So yeah, that's pretty awesome, right? I mean, it's... I actually I wanted to wait a little while before I asked her because we're not gonna get married until next year. And I actually thought it was a little bit too early to ask her already, but... I mean, the, this chance came along and I could not resist it. And I mean, it was the most perfect way I could think of. But I got the idea like beginning of December when we got the... Uh, VIP tickets and uh, it came to my attention that you might be able to meet the band and stuff like that I was like well wouldn't it be cool if I got in contact with the band and you know maybe could ask for the opportunity to get on stage and ask my you know propose to my girlfriend uh, and over the time I could not find a good way to get in contact with the band I tried a lot of ways and they were all dead ends of course I mean it's logic because they would get you know tons of fan mail and stuff like that and 
I mean, I couldn't do it through Twitter or Facebook. I mean, you cannot send them any um, private messages. And I couldn't do it uh, in a public message because then everybody could read it. So, yeah, I was still trying to figure that out. And then all of a sudden, uh, my girlfriend came up to me. Uh, I think it was like mid-January. And she was like, holy shit, look what happened in England. And they were, at that time, they were doing a tour through England. And somebody had the same idea as I had. And proposed to his girlfriend on stage. So I was kind of bummed and pissed. And I'm like, fuck, there goes my idea, you know. I'm like, shit. And she was like, well, you know, weird reaction to have, but whatever. I couldn't say anything because, you know, she was not supposed to know that I wanted to ask her. And um, as time passed away, um, I did not get in contact with the band. So on the day itself, day of the concert, I had like one thing on my mind and that was trying to do it there I mean I wrote a letter printed it out and I'm like fuck it I'm just I'm, I bought a ring I took it with me I took the letter with me and I'm just like fuck it let's go over there and try to you know fix it then and there and then we had to go through security and oh my god I almost got busted um, <laughs> Because we got VIP, we uh, we could go in early, so that was all cool. We, you know, got a backstage tour and stuff like that. I thought, well, that's gonna be my only opportunity to do anything. And as we go in, all all our belongings and bags had to be searched, you know, for knives, weapons, anything. And as I was emptying my pockets, I had. The box with the ring in my pocket and I put it really quick under my head and like you know hoping my girlfriend wouldn't see it because she was in the line next to me thank god she wasn't behind me and the uh, girl from security is like you know going through my stuff like oh it's okay and she grabs the box and she's like oh are these like earplugs or something and she opens it and she sees the ring she's like Shit. and she puts it away because she knew immediately you know holy shit that's you know for a proposal so she's like is that for tonight i'm like well yeah i hope so <laughs> i'm trying she's like, oh shit i hope i can see it and stuff like that so i was like okay well my girlfriend did not see it thank god i'm like Whew. so we got the backstage tour we got in and uh we could take photos with the uh bass and the uh, guitar of one of the band members you know put them on take photos and while my girlfriend was uh, getting a guitar put on her and get her photo taken she was distracted I'm like okay this is my one and only chance so I went up to the girl who um, leaded the tour because I saw her you know joking and talking to the guys backstage a little bit and I was like okay let's go to her just ask her you know what is the best thing to do um, what is my best option so I went up to her and I said you know I got this letter for the band uh, in which I want to ask uh, if I can get on stage to propose to my girlfriend and she's like well let me think let me think and she's like well yeah let me get Joe he's the uh, head bodyguard of the band if there's somebody who can you know fix that it's him so she called him and he came over and he was like well do you have to ring with you I'm like of course dog <laughs> so he's like is he here yeah no like here here can we talk I'm like, oh yeah she has the guitar photo taken right now so yeah we can talk and he's like well I'm gonna go to the band I'm gonna give you the uh, gonna give them your letter and um, I'm gonna go to you around or before the concert starts or during the concert and I will tell you if it's okay or not so I was like oh, shit okay cool 
And so we went on. My girlfriend was a little suspicious, like, what the fuck were you talking about? And so I just made up a little story. And then we got to go into the uh, main concert hall. Uh, as like, you know, the first people. So we were on the front row. So you can really see uh, Chevelle and Disturbed on the front row, which was awesome. And then we got to the uh, backstage part. Because uh, with the VIP, with events, you can go uh, on the stage. Well, in the stage, actually. There were two sides, uh, either side of the stage, where there was this, like, little platform where your head was just, like, a little above the stage, where you can see everybody, you know, jumping around on stage and stuff like that. And they would interact with you, give you high fives and stuff like that. It was awesome. But as we uh, were standing there, you know, the band began playing and... We I was like, well, I haven't uh, spoke to Joe yet, but I saw him standing like maybe two meters in front of me. It wasn't that far. So as I was trying to make eye contact and stuff like that, he wasn't paying attention to me at all. And he just walked to the other side of the stage and like, fuck. And I thought, well, maybe he tries to ignore me because, you know, he feels bad because they didn't want to or stuff like that which was you know okay I mean they already did the exact same thing like a month before that I was like yeah well I get if they don't want to do it again you know like they don't want to be a band that does that every time or stuff like that so I was a little bummed like fuck shit man didn't work but okay you know I said fuck it and let's enjoy the concert because, you know, it's my favorite band. I want to watch it. And I want to enjoy it. So, um, as they were coming off stage, uh, right before the encore, they all of a sudden, like, half the band, uh, Sinister Gates, uh, Johnny Christ, and Zacky Vengeance, came on our side of the uh, stage in the VIP room. So, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, we took some selfies and a picture they were all bad because of the poor lighting so yeah that sucked but you know uh, as they were going uh, on stage again and play their uh, encore song uh, backcountry I was like well fuck I still haven't heard anything it's not gonna go uh, through you know fuck then all of a sudden I got crap by my uh, by my ankle like hey hey and I was like what and all of a sudden he was behind me like yeah, you and your girlfriend go on stage right after this song and, you know, you can do your thing. Like, wait, what? Holy shit. Like, what? He said, yeah, I will make up a story like uh, you won some prize or something and you can go on stage and so she won't notice. Like, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> so I grabbed my girlfriend, like, come on, come on. She's like, what? I'm, you know, enjoying the concert. I'm like, no, come, come. And he says, like, yeah, uh, every uh, concert uh, we pick two VIP members, which we think are the most cool or awesome, you know, and they can go uh, on the stage for the last two songs. And as we were standing there, all of a sudden, you know, we were behind Brooks, the drummer, and we can, you know, go on stage. And all of a sudden, M immediately walks up to me, like, hey, come on. And, you know, the rest you can see in the video. And I'm like, holy shit, this is so awesome. But because everything went so fast, I didn't have the time to get nervous. Until he gave me the mic and everybody was like screaming like, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't even hear myself because I didn't have any earplugs in. I took them off because backstage uh, you couldn't hear uh, the sound really well. So I took them off to hear the music. And I forgot to put them back in. So it was like really deafening, but it was awesome. But I got so nervous at that moment. I'm like, holy shit. So, you know, as we were awkwardly moving off the stage, we were still standing behind Brooks and he was drumming and he was playing a little piece of heaven. And he looks, you know, over his shoulder and he sees us and he's playing and he's playing. And all of a sudden he looks again and he just throws his drumstick right at us and he keeps on playing, he grabs another one, keeps on playing. And we're like, holy shit, drumstick, yay! You know, that was awesome. And all those people, you know, after the concert were congratulating us and so, uh, stuff like that. 
amazing and yeah I couldn't think of a better way to do this um, just amazing so everybody if you liked this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and remember stay awesome